welcome back to Give Me Some Sugar. My name is Rachel, and we're going to talk about infusion sets today, because I'm very passionate about infusion sets. Um, but why do they matter? They are important because I think, like, people pick an infusion set for their pump, and then they never switch, because they're kind of scary looking. But I'm just going to tell you that it is important uh, for your skin. I think for a long time I was using the plastic cannulas and I was seeing a lot of, I don't know if I was kind of allergic to the Teflon in the plastic or if I, I don't know, it just, I would always have like little red bumps and it just didn't feel very good and they didn't look cute either. So I kind of hated them. So infusion sets can you know people have different reactions to them and it can affect your skin integrity which is important to keep intact because we're gonna live forever and you want to keep putting needles in there okay absorption of insulin is another thing to consider so depending on the length of the cannula the type of the cannula you can get some better insulin absorption going on um, and then of course decreasing fear so if you have a child um or you're just supremely afraid of needles which i get you know certain ones maybe are less terrifying the ones with like an auto injector are definitely helpful for that and then another thing to consider is if you are pregnant or if you are a little bean a little kid or you have a child pka is not an option I mean, it's not an option for anyone, but especially when you're pregnant, especially when you are a child, um, we don't, those are, those are really points when we don't want our cannula to fail. I want it to bend. We don't want it to go bad. We need that constant stream of insulin to be going in. So that's another reason to kind of switch up your infusion sets and kind of consider some different options. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to do some drawing now. The first thing we're going to talk about is infusion sets, obviously. Plastic cannulas. Should I write with blue? This is cute, I guess. So these here are plastic cannulas. Okay, and we're looking at Medtronic's uh, infusion sets right now, but Tandem also basically makes the exact same looking um, infusion sets that do the same thing. Um, Omnipod, of course, is just a plastic cannula. You don't have any other choices with it. That being said, Omnipod, if you want to make a steel cannula, I'm on board. So the plastic cannulas, there are quite a few different ones, um, but the, the big ones are the quick set. Okay. And that one you put in manually. I think it does have an injector, but it gives you the option to kind of just put it in yourself, which I always did and still do. It just makes me feel more comfortable for whatever reason. I don't like that like pow of the, uh, the injector. It creeps me out. The other one, which I think is really popular is the Mio. And they actually came out with like an advanced version of the Mio. I've never seen it or used it, so I'm not entirely sure what the difference is. I think it's just less likely to poke you accidentally. But the Mio is great because, first of all, it comes in pink and blue and gray. But of course, I wore it because it was pink. Um, so it comes in colors, which is fun for kids, for sure. On top of that, you can use it like one-handed a lot more easily. So you can rotate your sights. And it's just, for some people, it's a lot easier to insert. And did I mention the colors? That really is the best part. And that being said, the, I believe Tandem's version of that, they don't have as fun of a name, but it's an auto soft. And this one's the auto soft 90. This nightmare of an infusion set is called the Silhouette. And it is a, um, 
an angled, like a 30 degree angle, um, whereas these go straight in. So the advantage of this is it's harder to pull out. And then because it goes in at an angle, it's good for like lean people who don't have as much fat because it's going straight in. So I did wear this for a long time because I had a constant fear of handles and doorknobs. So I used it for a long time as a child. But this thing is terrifying. It does have a injector, which is equally as terrifying. <laughs> if you're brave though, it is a good option. Just because it does, it's not as um, likely to come out and, and ruin your life. So these are the plastic ones. And I believe Tandem's version of this is the Auto Soft 30. Something like that. But again, they all look very similar and they do the same thing. They just have a different like end connector that goes into the reservoirs. Now for my absolute jam here, steel cannulas. We're gonna use a different color. So I think steel cannulas for a lot of people are pretty terrifying because you're like, I don't want a needle in my body. Um, the plastic cannulas have an introducer needle. You pull that introducer needle out after you've put it into your skin and it leaves the plastic cannula. So you only have this like plastic piece in your body the whole time. Whereas the steel cannula, you stick the steel cannula in there and it just stays there. Now the advantage to these is that they're kind of like they are foolproof. So they fail much less frequently. So these are really good for um, pregnancy and for children, where again, um, high blood sugars really affect small children and pregnant ladies very negatively. So it's important to have a an infusion set that is going to work. Personally, I did find that these I had a lot of luck with the absorption. So I did, uh, as I said before, um, I came off of these plastic cannulas and I started to use the steel cannulas. And I noticed that I needed less insulin because again, I think it was just absorbing a little bit better in my body. I didn't have as many failed issues. As I built up scar tissue, it was harder to get those plastic cannulas to really get in there. Okay, and then the Medtronic version of this is called the Sure T, and the Tandem version is called True Steel. I know, such cute names, right? That being said, Omnipod, again, does not have a steel cannula, so you're kind of stuck with the, that definitely kind of played a part in the type of pump that I use. I always will probably use a tubed pump because I like these steel cannulas a lot. They, they look very similar to that. this. Um, some little kids call them kitty cats because they have these little, the little wrappers look like little ears. They're supremely adorable. Most of these cannulas and infusion sets have different options. So they come in different sizes. So you can see these are those 30 degree angle like the silhouettes. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to spell. <laughs> so you can get a longer one. I would not recommend this longer cannula unless you're, you have like a lot of body fat. Um, you don't want the cannula to get near muscle or puncture muscle because muscle absorbs in insulin very quickly, but also really sporadically. So it's hard to figure out what your blood sugar is gonna do when you have it going into muscle. And then these are the, like the Mio's cannulas and the Autosoft 90s. And as well as the, the steel cannulas come in different sizes too. So again, I would not use the longer cannulas unless you have some, some meat to put it into. But I would, you know, if you're a leaner person, the six millimeter is definitely your friend. I personally use 
a eight millimeter steel cannula and I find that works really well for me. I'm, I'm pretty beefy, so um, that's definitely my favorite. And then of course there's the option of what length of tubing you want. So one question you have to ask yourself is, do you attract doorknobs? <laughs> So yeah, that's that's a big issue where you're like walking around and your tubing gets caught on stuff. But also like I like to sleep naked without pockets. So I want long tubing so I can just roll around and do my thing. But yeah, that's kind of a quick spiel on the types of cannulas there are. We can talk more about like the insertion of them and the care for them and that kind of thing in another video. So I hope you enjoyed this one um the different kinds you can see i'll link the manufacturers websites below i have some good like comparisons and of course definitely ask me a question if you have any all right i will see you next time